Hi there, welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm going to do, um, or also known as Chaos Central. My desk is like, hold on, I'm gonna try and turn this so you can see the chaos. Oh yes, <laughs> oh, hold on, wait, some candies. Okay, hold on. Now, let me put this back. Yeah, I think that'll do. Mm, maybe I went over a bit. Sorry, hope I'm not making y'all sick. Guess I shouldn't have shown you the mess. That is my desk. So I've been working on Harriet a bit more. Where is she? Where are you, Harriet? Got papers ready. Oh, there she is. There she is. Here, I'll show you my plans for. Um, if you recall, I, I'm going to put tuck spots here on these shoulders to cover up where the um, where these gorgeous end papers got torn when when somebody ripped the uh, text block out. So I'm going to put this one on this side but it's actually going to be in a bit but I want to I'll trim that later but that's going to go there so that was the divider for table settings and entertaining so that's going to go there and then this one I really want this chart there because um, a lot of books back then had you know a chart so I'm going to put that one there and then uh yeah where's some Where's a piece of paper? I'm going to use this. So that way, right inside the front page, as soon as you open the book, there will be tuck spots, and in the back, tuck spots. So I think that's going to look really cool. And I'm happy with that. And as ever, I write myself notes, because, you know, in two days, when I'm ready to start putting this together, I'll pick these up and go, now, now what was I going to do with those? <laughs> So that's what I'm doing and I've been folding papers all day and I usually make too many papers but you know what I'd rather sort through and uh, and find the ones that I don't need now these ones I am going to fold off center because I want them I want a little bit of a, a little bit of a tip out I don't know if that's going to give me one. Well, we'll see. Hmm? Let's do this. And we'll see. Ooh, I don't want to push too hard. This paper is saying, uh-uh. Don't do it. Hmm. Hardly even worth it. Not even worth it. I'm going to trim that off. That's not even worth bulking up the edge for. Normally I would say, oh, well, I'll just I'll bend that back and I'll sew it with a cute zigzag stitch. But it's um, I've got other things that I would choose to bulk up my book with rather than that. So you have to be you have to be picky with what you're going to bulk things up with. There's an old deserted squirrel nest in the tree outside my window here. And it's fun. I'm watching the birds are raiding it and taking things for their nests. It's just really cute. Yeah, we'll just take that off. There we go. So it's not, this is my template. I guess I should explain that. And regular followers will know that I do this. But in case this is your first time, um, I make a template that I can refer back to that is the size of what I would want a, an ideal spread to be. But I will still accept things that are longer or shorter or wider. I like 
I would say I prefer about 75% of my papers to be this size. But then I don't mind if a few, like see how this, it's not quite as tall. And I like that because it gives a little bit of variety and a little, um, it allows the eyes to wander a bit. So let's see what this is. This is um, a page that's out of a crochet book. And again, see how it's not quite, it's not quite tall enough and it's also not quite wide enough. I'm fine with that. And in fact, the pages that aren't quite wide enough, they really make ideal pages to maybe put a little trim on or a little lace. So I'm not worried about that. Now I'm just trimming a few. I'm putting some, I'm putting some pages that are tea dyed and I'm leaving some that look a little bit newer. And uh, I just, I want a little bit of variety. I think I just cut my template. That's all right. I'm almost near the end anyways. I'll show you in a second. I love these papers because I love the holes. It's just fun. Yeah. I think I want to fold it this way. It's pretty quiet in my little town, and I like it that way. I like that uh, people are cooperating with the isolation. So we're going to do it. There we go. I might still put that in anyways. I like little fun ones. And then you're already folded, so you're good to go. All right, and I found a few more pages that I'm going to put in so that I can include some pages from books. I found a book from a child's uh, birthday party. Or I pulled a spread out of a little pamphlet that I have on how to run a child's birthday party. So I'm going to include that. I have a page uh, from an old, an old reader. So, and I love that the mother is, is all dressed up. She's even got high heels on and she's uh, peeling apples in high heels because we all do that. Uh, this is from uh, a pamphlet that was given out by our local hospital to new mothers when they got sent home uh, with their new baby. Here's This is out of a book on how to crochet. So, and these are out of work basket books. I just loved them. I love the color. I'm going to have to reinforce. I love that red. Um, I'm going to need to reinforce these these folds on these on these three. So these ones are fine. Uh, this is uh, also was in that um, pamphlet. See Oshawa General Hospital. That's a couple cities over from me. And uh, obviously the mama got handed this on her way out. Your ab abdominal exercises, and I thought that would make for fun. I can sew it in there, and then it's a tip out. Cute. Yeah. You know what? Let's uh, let's reinforce these because they're pretty. They're pretty sad looking. <laughs> 1954. That's just a little bit older than me. Now, hmm, what color? Yep, let's use you. I'm just going to. Here we go. 
Everyone else in the house is snoozing right now. It's turned into Siesta Central around here. As much as I would enjoy a nap, if I nap during the daytime, I will be wide awake until probably 1.30 in the morning. So I have to fight my urge to have a nap. Actually, it's not that bad. I really don't get an urge to nap. I am not going to put washi tape on the other side. There's really no need and it will bulk up my book. So I'm going to leave that as is. It will be fine. Uh, that will dry. You won't see that. that. The glue, when it dries, that will be gone. So I don't, uh, I'm, I'm being choosy about um, how I want to bulk up this book. And I really want it to be fun stuff. I want trims and maybe a lace doily or so and that sort of thing. So I'm not wasting it on double washi when double washi is not needed. Gee, I like how that looks. It doesn't distract from how cool this paper is. I'm not sure if I'll use all these. I'm getting them ready. But I may opt to only put one in. I'm not sure. So again, don't panic if you're seeing all those polka dots. That'll dry clear. Simia. I find that now that we're social distancing, I'm actually doing better at planning my meals. Usually, one of the things I'll say when I turn on the camera here is, I have no idea what I'm making for dinner, but I'm actually doing quite well planning our meals, planning the leftovers. I have no problem if I've cooked a meal and it was delicious and I'm, I'm an okay cook. Uh, I have no problem having that exact same meal the next night, but my hubby absolutely detests doing that. He does not want to eat the same meal two days in a row. So I have to sort of plan out because I don't like our leftovers to go to waste and it's very easy for them to get lost in the fridge. So I have to plan out what we're eating and then what we're going to eat the next day and then we can, then we're allowed <laughs> to have the leftovers um, on the third day. And that, that's okay for him. So that's that's how we do it. Everyone's different. And after all this time, I'm used to it now. And uh, and that's what I do. Oh, I'm dinging. Dinging. All right. So I picked out a few. Um, I loved her. I've got to incorporate her somehow into it. Um, I've picked out a few dividers that I also want to use, and I found some dividers from some other books. Where did I have some more? There's one. Oh, come on, I know I have more. Oh, here they are. I piled these on top. Uh, I have this one. Isn't that cute? 
Now these ones, these dividers were from a gardening book and they actually are meant to stick out the top. But I don't think I want to do that. Oh, here's some nice ones from Garden, Better Homes and Garden. Love those ones. I wish they were up higher. Oh, there's one. Aren't they looking groovy? Oh, and that one's good. So I think, let me see how many I've got here. And I'll see what I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'll be. All right, so I got nine, so I don't even need to worry about these. I might incorporate them somewhere else, but I really don't like that it's photos. It, it looks too new. I grabbed them just in case, but I don't want them. So, what else did I get? I've got a few things here that I'm trying to decide. Uh, how I want to incorporate them. I just, you know what, I'm just going to show you. I find, um, I, I'm one of those, I'm one of those worry warts, and I find that, um, you know, I'm worrying about, are my family okay? Is my mother okay? And it really makes me, and I'm not stewing about it, don't get me wrong, but it really, I have a hard time concentrating. So my videos really aren't very, they're certainly not very um, educational. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're, it's more that I'm just catching up with you and letting you know what I'm doing. I'd like to try and find a way to incorporate maybe one or two patterns. Aren't these two lovely? I'm not sure which one I want to use. I swear my mother made both of these outfits when I was growing up. Even right down to the turban hat. She had a turban hat. Because you always wore a hat to church. Um, she had a tur turban hat in a really beautiful Dijon mustard gold velvet. And oh, I loved that hat. So I'm, I'm not sure... And then all these little, I'm quite sure I had that dress. And I just, you know, a mm, little boudoir. I'm going to try and incorporate this into the baby chapter. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Hmm. I like that cover, and I may use the cover just for a punch of color. I don't think I'm going to use you. Let's put you aside. And I don't think I'm going to use you. Look at the smocking. Isn't that pretty? I had a friend make a smocked dress for my, um, my fourth baby, my daughter. Uh, this beautiful yellow smocked dress. Oh, I put her in it as often as I could. It was so pretty. And then it was lovely when I saved it for her and her little girl was able to uh, to wear it. And she got a picture of her in it too. So anyhow, I look at that. And I like over in England, um, their little boys will wear smocked outfits. There's pictures of Prince William and I believe also Prince George. Wearing, oh my goodness, I'm looking out the window and there's a child going to try and climb on the roof of the shed. Uh-oh, I think, you know what, I'm going to pause. i got to go out and yell because that child's going to go, oh, 